Well, I'm not very good at this topic, as I don't have my own experience in this. Therefore, today I will have a guest who specialized in all the universities in Northern Cyprus. And we will talk about all the universities in Northern Cyprus. And now I will try to share the vibe of these universities with you guys. Even though I'm 41, I still know all these modern and trendy words. Let's go! Hello everyone, this is Cyprus with Olga Mirush, and today we are going to choose a bright future and university for your children. And for my child too. My sweet Yaroslava is only five years old. But here, you know, one little wink and your daughter is already an adult and famous astronaut, ufologist or even a speech pathologist. At the end of this video, I'll tell you what Michael and I personally plan for Yaroslava's education. Our today's cast in my video is partnering with 14 universities here in Northern Cyprus. There are more of them, but the rest of the universities do not suit our students in terms of its preferences, because both your children and mine must have great diplomas. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the walk. The common thing is outdoor pool. Here it's normal. There is a view of the sea. Michael show us. And here, tennis courts. And all of these are in the open air, because the climate allows to. Here, in different universities, it is a little bit different. There is one large building and there are all kinds of faculties. I see there is some kind of art here. And here is medicine. All this is scattered around such small buildings. It's very convenient and cool. And here you can go for a walk everywhere. Let's continue our walk. When I was a student, all these physical activities were exhausting for me. I actually don't like it all. For example, the ski. They certainly haven't heard about them. They have their own undertones. But sport obviously exists here as same as restaurants. Restaurants, cafes and every university so that every student can eat very budget friendly here. Do you remember your student days? In case you really want to, you can fully think of them right now. Here you have a lot of such interesting things as typewriters, cinemas, politics, seagulls fly here. I have no idea what is written here, but it's probably very interesting. This is probably a place for teachers and boom! Look, what a cool thing! Or is it one of the students swaggering? All right, let's start our conversation with my guest. Right now, we will ask all my tricky questions and not only tricky ones. This is a representative of the company that deals with grants here. Her name is Oksana and here is our first question. So, are the diplomas of Northern Cyprus recognized all over the world, Oksana? Yes, Northern Cyprus diplomas are recognized in many countries and abroad as well. Uh, because all universities that are located in Northern Cyprus are accredited by the Ministry of Education of Northern Cyprus, as well as Turkey, it means you receive an international Turkish diploma, which is valid in many countries. Europe, England, Dubai, even in the USA. That's cool. Yeah, students also went there. The next question is, how many universities are located here in Northern Cyprus and how many are planned to be opened, Oksana? <laughs> well, uh, there are a lot of universities in Northern Cyprus, but our company works with 14 universities because the level of education and the degree of accreditation of universities in Northern Cyprus is very important for us. Well, I won't pick up an apartment for you immediately and these professionals, they work exclusively for your request. Therefore, if you sit down with a piece of paper and a pen and wait for what documents to postulate there to make it sure this will not happen in my video. There won't be this long drag, it's hard for me to watch this kind of videos and you probably won't like it. If there is such a request, don't hesitate and write down in the comments. I will advise you someone in whom I personally sure. Let's go back to our questions. What is not taught here on our beautiful island? Actually, all universities have a lot of faculties. The only thing is that so far there have been no requests and there are no such faculties that deal with music. Although there are faculties of art, painting and photography. Cool. 
Yes, and of course, when you want to get an education as an ambassador or a civil servant, it is impossible to do it here. I mean, yeah, you can get it, but going back to your country it won't be valid. The diploma won't be recognized. And the most important question. Is it true that you can study here for free? And can your company help with this? Oksana? Yes, it's not quite true because all the universities on the island are private. But if a student has a good academic performance, then you can get a grant of 100%. A lot of parents of students and students themselves apply to our company and depending on the academic performance, preferences, faculty, our company can help with support. And with obtaining a grant to and of course in choosing a university. You sign up for our free consultation where we give you detailed information on all universities and faculties of Northern Cyprus. After you have chosen and decided in what direction you want to move, our company accompanies you starting from the package of documents that you need upon admission to the enrollment to the university. And now the next question is about the timing of admission to our wonderful universities in Northern Cyprus. It's actually a very unique system here. You can enroll twice a year for the fall semester in September and the spring semester in February. And now let's talk about money. How much is the cheapest and the most expensive university here in Northern Cyprus in a beautiful, fancy, happy island? The prices are completely different and in different universities the price depends on the faculty. Well, considering that you can study with a 100% discount, the price can be from 353 euros and 13,500. Obviously, the faculty of medicine is the most expensive faculty. <laughs> the faculty where Oksana is studying. See what a pretty uniform she has. This is a medicine uniform. This is a Cypriot International University. It is the second largest after the Famagustian, Eastern Mediterranean and just guys fill the scope. also ask Oksana to tell us about her impressions during admission and in general during studying. At home she graduated from law school and here she studies medicine. So right now she will tell us everything what the nuances are here. When I decided to enter a university in Northern Cyprus, I was a little bit afraid because in our countries, for example, where I received a low degree, I had to pass a bunch of entrance exams and it's not a fact that you will pass. Here it is very easy and simple. When you enter, you simply pass a test in English. If it wasn't successful and you didn't have enough level of English, you go to preparatory courses for a year. After that, you are transferred to the faculty and you continue your education. Education here is very comfortable. Teachers are very friendly and from different countries. It's England, Turkey, um, Nigeria. <laughs> And there are even teachers from Arab countries. And one more thing, let me tell you about our plan for our daughter Yaroslava. And you tell me how possible it is. In a nutshell, look, we came up with the idea that when Yaroslava grows up, enters a university in Northern Cyprus, she will study for four years to get a bachelor's degree. To the bachelor's yes, that's degree, right. right? She will receive a bachelor's degree and then she will go to any other country in Europe America, anywhere, Harvard, Cambridge, or even Hogwarts. And there she will receive a local diploma. That means she studies there for two years and will get a local diploma. And firstly, it will be cheaper. Secondly, she will be able to work there. And thirdly, it's cool. And here is my real story. Yes, this is a very real story as you can get a bachelor's degree here in Northern Cyprus because the price here is very convenient for getting an education. And to get a master's degree, you can go to any other country. So MA is what is master's degree? Exactly, it's a master's oh, degree. Okay, that's great.
Yeah, it's MA or doctoral degree. So you don't need to confirm your diploma, right? No, you can just go and study further. Well, this is our way. Maybe it will be yours too. And we are done here. So thank you very much, Oksana. Thank you for having me here. Guys, it seems I'm having an irresistible desire to study again in these awesome universities. Very nice. I hope my English is enough. Guys, we are already done with Oksana, but when we were just walking around and talking, she told me a such a great story that I can't help but share this story with you. And again, back to Oksana. When I entered the faculty of law here, I realized that I didn't have enough knowledge of the English language. And I freely switched for preparatory courses where after one semester I had already started talking, got accumulated knowledge in order to go to the faculty, I easily transferred to the faculty and even switched from law to medical. That means, for example, if you came to some faculty, you studied and realized that you were not interested, it was not your cup of tea, you want to switch to another speciality, you can do it easily. Well, it's really cool that you are not obligated to anything, you don't have to drop out the university and apply one more time. For example, I realized that a philologist wouldn't come out of me probably within two months of my first year of study, but I courageously pulled this all this year so that for some reason my diploma would then lay and gather dust. In fact, I couldn't have done this but simply transferred to another faculty if I had studied in Northern Cyprus. Look at a big concert stage, they are built in here. Here is the place that Oksana was talking about, where you can improve your English. Ah, oh, the sunshine, guys! We have just arrived at one of the universities. Now we will go for a walk. Just look! How oh, beautiful it is here! Let's get closer and take a look. As you can see, an ordinary university looks nice here. Frankly speaking, it's actually not a very good one. My partners do not really like to work with them. But here you can realize how this university is not that pretty here. Well, it seems like it got more or less clear about universities. I remember those times when we ourselves moved and how many questions, fears, mistakes, unnecessary situations that could have been easily avoided. That is why when I created my agency, my emphasis and priority was to make your purchase for moving, for investment or for your vacation as understandable as possible. Of course, you cannot avoid stressing, but at least minimize it as much as you can. Therefore, I will be there for you in everything I'm good at and in what I'm not, I will entrust professionals and this way I will be sure of the result. From the moment of your first active action or writing or calling me, we are always keeping in touch. We select options, we study the history of the developer, well, in general, all this preparatory work before purchase. Well, we bought and registered everything, then comes kindergarten, schools, I specialize on them well. I have a specialist who will help you with buying furniture, buying equipment for a car as well. All kinds of changes in a driver's license, you will have all these nuances and there will be a lot of questions. But the most important, you know who to ask about them. Well, probably enough my praises of coolness and humanity. Let's move on to what the next week's video will be about. Ready? It will be about fear. I mean three fears, the most popular fears that make all my future Cypriots worrying. Even though I won't reveal this topic, but you can leave your guess in the comments. And if you guess all three fears, then I will treat you to dinner at the fanciest fish restaurant in Kyrenia. It was Cyprus with Olga Mirush. See you next week, my dear Cypriots.